Covalence, the key to designer molecular magnetic fields DMF and their electromagnetic field analogs. Covalence refers to the number of electron pairs that an atom can share with other atoms. This term is often used in chemistry to describe the nature of chemical bonds formed by the sharing of electrons between atoms. Essentially, it's a key concept in understanding how molecules are held together. Covalent bonds and herbs. Plant secondary metabolites, many active compounds and herbs, such as alkaloids, phenolics, and terpenoids, form covalent bonds with various biological targets. These bonds can influence the structure and function of proteins, enzymes, and other cellular components. Bioactivity. The covalent interactions between these plant compounds and cellular targets can lead to various therapeutic effects, such as anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antioxidant activities. Covalent bonds and medications. Drug receptor interactions. Some medications form covalent bonds with their target receptors. These bonds are often strong and can lead to prolonged effects. For example, certain cancer drugs form covalent bonds with proteins to inhibit their function. Irreversibility. Covalent bonds in drug interactions are typically irreversible under biological conditions, meaning the drug remains bound to its target for an extended period. This can be beneficial for drugs that need to maintain a long-lasting effect. In the ebook, Human to Machine Pattern Recognition of Molecular Magnetic Fields, the author explores how molecular magnetic fields can be replicated as electromagnetic field analogs. Covalent bonds play a significant role in this process. Here's how. Covalent bonds and molecular magnetic fields. Molecular structure. Covalent bonds determine the three-dimensional structure of molecules. This structure influences the distribution of electrons and, consequently, the magnetic fields generated by the molecules. Electron sharing. In covalent bonds, atoms share electrons. The movement and arrangement of these shared electrons create specific magnetic fields. These fields can be detected and analyzed to understand the molecular properties. Replicating Molecular Magnetic Fields Pattern Recognition By understanding the magnetic fields generated by covalent bonds, scientists can create electromagnetic field analogs. This involves recognizing the patterns of these fields and replicating them using electromagnetic technology. Electromagnetic field analogs. These analogs can mimic the magnetic fields of molecules, allowing for applications in various fields such as medicine, biotechnology, and environmental science. Practical Applications Herbal Medicine. By replicating the magnetic fields of medicinal herbs, researchers can better understand their therapeutic properties and enhance their effectiveness. Drug design. In pharmaceuticals, replicating molecular magnetic fields can help in designing drugs that interact more precisely with their targets. Understanding covalent bonds and their role in generating molecular magnetic fields is crucial for advancing this innovative approach. In human-to-machine pattern recognition of molecular magnetic fields, the author, Thomas Jacobs, explains how programs like Audacity can convert photographs into sound to create electromagnetic field analogs of various targets. The process involves Photograph analysis. The program analyzes the photograph of the target, e.g., herbs, minerals, to identify its unique molecular magnetic field patterns. Sound conversion. These patterns are then converted into sound frequencies. Audacity, a popular audio editing software, can be used to generate these frequencies in formats like pink noise. Electromagnetic field analogs. 
The resulting sound files represent the electromagnetic field analogs of the targets. These analogs can be used for various applications, such as creating designer frequencies for therapeutic purposes. Playing an audio analog creates a designer electromagnetic field emanating from the electrical audio coil in the speaker as well as sound waves from the vibrating cone conveying the same information in two different mediums. This method allows for the replication and study of molecular magnetic fields in a digital format, making it easier to experiment with and utilize these fields in different contexts. The next step for researchers is analyzing the data generated by the photograph to sound programs and identify the specific frequencies that replicate these molecular magnetic fields as electromagnetic field and audio analogs. Other applications. This process can be used for identifying items by their molecular magnetic field for analysis and classification. The conversion of electromagnetism to sound and sound to electromagnetism conveys the same information in two different mediums. This points to sound as a carrier of molecular magnetic field information that can then be converted to electromagnetism for item identification as well.